What is up guys? It is the redstone scientist here setting it to daytime because it's another redstone video. Alright guys, so a while back, RSDG Productions, a channel you should really check out, it's got some great content, uh, posted a video about his simple way of in, uh, outputting scoreboard, or excuse me, outputting coordinates, the player's coordinates, to the scoreboard, right? And basically the way he did that was by using the fill command and the stats command to detect how many blocks were filled based on where the player was. So if I'm standing here, uh, in order to t detect uh, X or Z, I forget which, he would basically fill from here to the zero coordinate. And he would go, okay, fill over to here, over to here, wherever the zero coordinate is, and would go, okay, now let's count the number of blocks by using the stats command, the affected blocks uh, stat, and it would go, okay, that is your, that minus one or plus one, depending on uh, where you were, because it counts the block you're standing on, that's why it's minus or plus one, um, that is the, your X or Z coordinate. So that's how that worked. So there are a few problems with this, uh, one of which I was able to solve, and the problem being that it only worked in positive coordinates, if both coordinates were positive. So, for example, here his system would work. You could see, by the way, that my coordinates on the right match the block. You can see in the F3 screen, you could see where it says block. And those are my coordinates. So you can see that no matter where I go, it fairly quickly updates to the proper coordinates. And it also works, my version, in other quadrants. Now, the way that I got mine to work with other quadrants is uh, using these armor stands. And I made them visible just so you can, you can see. So basically, the way this works is depending on... The only thing you have to do in order to make minus coordinates work, right? So the reason why we fill from here to negative one is because, like I said, it counts the block you're standing on. So one, two, three, four, okay, means that we're uh, at five, I, I guess, right? Um, so basically, all it means is counting an extra one in the opposite direction and multiplying it by negative one. That's all you have to do, because, of course, you can't count negative blocks. So basically all it is is adding an extra block in a different direction and multiplying it by negative 1. Now, how do I know when to multiply by negative 1 and when not to? Well, basically all I do is I have these four armor stands, PM, plus, minus, 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 plus, and plus, plus. And these are the four quadrants on a graph and in Minecraft. So what that means is when I'm over here, the x coordinate is positive and the z coordinate is negative. When I'm over here, both coordinates are negative. Okay? So the way we detect, by the way, all of the filling is going down uh, on, at y equals zero. And uh, I actually solved another one of the problems, which is he was using fill, I'm using clone, which was suggested in his comments section. Just in case you have something at y equals zero, it doesn't mess it up. It just clones whatever's already there. So uh, this system can be compacted greatly, but I did it this way just so uh, for demonstration purposes. Uh, this line here is just to output the coordinates. So each of these guys has a different quadrant score. So this guy would be quadrant three, I believe this guy would be quadrant two, and this guy would be quadrant four. And basically, I am detecting off of the player, so execute. Then I would do uh, equals at E, type equals armor stand, C equals one. So what that means is basically whichever armor stand I'm closest to. So I could be way over here, and it would know that the armor stand I'm closest to is the minus plus, okay, which is this one over here. And basically all it would do is it would give my, my personal qu uh, quadrant score, it would set it equal to the quadrant score of the nearest armor stand. So you can see my quad score uh, changing as we go around here to whichever quadrant I'm in. And that's how I detect which of these lines should activate, which of these lines uh, should we use in order to figure out our X and Z coordinates, because it differs. Now again, I could, could have compacted this. Um, some of the problems that are still here for the thing. Well, for one thing, you have to be, this has to be loaded. Um, and everything from where you are to zero, zero has to be loaded because this doesn't work across unloaded chunks because you can't clone stuff over unloaded chunks. Uh, another problem is it doesn't work whenever you are on a coordinate that is zero. So it doesn't work on zero, zero, negative one, zero, zero, negative one, because you can't count zero blocks. It's still gonna count one thing. And I suppose you could put in a check for that, but it seems unnecessary. 
Uh, so it just doesn't work around here or on zero, zero. You can see it says negative two, negative two. Um, so it's a bit confusing that way. Another problem is, oh wait, those are the only two problems. <laughs> right. But anyway, the this isn't really a practical, so I'm not going to be sharing this for download or anything. It's not a great system. It's very creative. That's why I, I was inspired by it. It's a very creative system to use the affected blocks stat um, in the stats command in order to detect how many blocks are being filled or cloned, in my case. So, uh, yeah, I suppose a remote usage for this is you could position your armor stands and you could position, instead of using the coordinate zero, you could use a different coordinate, maybe in a puzzle map or something, so that for if for whatever reason you need coordinates in your puzzle map, it's sort of localized coordinates. I think that's what I'm gonna I think that's what I'm gonna call this video localized coordinate system. So you can center it around wherever you want and detect where you are. And it works with multiple quadrants. So uh, that is just about all I have time for today. You can check out RSDG's video in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, or video, hit that subscribe button, or even share it with your friends. Make sure to check out the jam packed description for more science. I will see you next time. And of course. Thanks for watching.